working with reports in this video we are going to see about working with reports 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 organize and summarize data for viewing online or for printing a detailed report displays all of the selected records creating report open the navigation pane click the table on which user want to base their report. Activate the Create tab. Click the Report button in the Reports group. MS Access creates report and displays report in Layout view. User can modify the report. Sections of a report are Report Header, Page Header, Detail Section, Report Footer, Page Footer. User can also use the report wizard to create a report. To create a report by using the report wizard, activate the create tab. Click report wizard in the reports group. The report wizard appears. Select tables, queries and fields. When using the report wizard, User can use fields from multiple tables and or queries if the tables or queries have a relationship. Click the down arrow next to the table or queries field and then click the table from which the user want to select fields. Click a field and then click the single right arrow to select a single field. Click the double right arrows to select all the fields. Click a field and then click the single left arrow to deselect a single field or click the double left arrow to deselect all fields. Click next. The report wizard moves to the next page. Group. User can group data by using report wizard. Grouping puts all of the values in a field into a group based on the field's value. Click to select the field which user want to group their data. User may not see this page of the wizard if they are selecting data from a single table. Click next. The report wizard moves to the next page. Sort and summarize. User can create up to four levels of sort by using the report wizard. Click the down arrow and then select the field user want to sort by. Click the button to choose ascending or descending order. Clicking the button toggles between ascending and descending. User can sort up to four levels. Click the summary options button. The summary options window appears. Click to select the summary data user want. Click to select whether user want detail and summary data or if user want summary data only. Click if user want to calculate the percent of the total for sums. Click OK. The summary options window closes. Click next. The report wizard moves to the next page. Layout and orientation. MS Access provides three options for layout to choose. Stepped, Block, Outline. Click to select a layout. Orientation determines whether MS Access creates a report in portrait or landscape. Click to select a page orientation. Choose the Adjust the Field Width so all fields fit on a page option. If user want all fields to fit on a single page, click next. The report wizard moves to the next page. Create a title. Type the title user want to give the report. Click finish. MS Access creates, saves and opens the report in layout view.
Modify Report After creation of a report, user can modify it by adding groups or sorting, adding fields, change labels and can perform many other tasks. To change the size of a field, click the field or label. A border appears around it. Click a side of the border and drag outward to increase the width or drag inward to decrease the width. To add a group or sort, activate the Design tab. Click Group and Sort from Grouping and Totals group. The group, sort and the total pane appears. Click Add a group and then select the field by which user want to group. MS Access groups and sorts the field. Click Add a sort and then select the field on which user want to sort. MS Access sorts the field. To add fields, Activate the Design tab. Click the Add Existing Fields button in the Tools group. The Field List pane appears. Click the field user want to add and drag it onto their report. A thick line appears on the report. MS Access places the field before the line. To delete a field or move a column, Open the report in layout view. Click the field the user want to delete. Press the delete key. MS Access deletes the field. To change title and field name, double click in the title field, type a new title. Click anywhere outside the title field. MS Access changes the title. Follow the same step to change the field name. To add page numbers, open the report in layout view. Activate the design tab. Click the insert page number button. The page numbers dialog box appears. Click radio buttons to choose a format and a position of page number. Click OK. MS Access places the page number in their report. View the final report in the report view.